Hello friends, where you start the capsular rexis plays an important role in how you successfully end up completing it. So most of us would like to initiate the tear towards the right and then take it in an anticlockwise direction in order to propagate the tear as you can see in this particular case. The flap is torn in an anticlockwise fashion starting from the right at the point of entry. Now when this is done and as the tear progresses, when you reach the subincisional area, a considerable amount of folds of the capsule are left behind, which has a tendency to slip out of the main incision and create problems. This is more clearly demarcated in this case, where these folds of the anterior capsule tends to slip out as you take the instrument out to fill the anterior chamber. And as the visco is filled, you find that the force of the viscoelastic exiting the eye actually causes the tear to almost extend to the periphery. And it is by sheer luck that I am able to successfully complete the capsular rexis with sufficient amount of centripetal pull to complete it. Instead what I suggest is uh, you create the tear from the left and the first thing you do is you finish the subincisional area of the tear. So this will save you a lot of problems later on with respect to these folds slipping out of the incision and creating problems for you during the surgery. You will also find that the completion of the capsular rexis is much easier and then it easily completes before you reach the subincisional area. Another example in an intumescent cataract, I start the tear from the left and not the right. The first thing I do is to complete the subincisional area of the tear. So now there is no danger that these folds will slip out of the subincisional area. And then you can go ahead and just complete the capsular rexis. The end of the capsular rexis will happen just to the left of the incision. Thank you for your attention.